fighting over that. It's crazy getting used to spread out through your toes, relax and release through your feet and your ankles. Swing relaxation upwards through to low legs. Bend through your knees. Keep the knees soft and relaxed. And traveling that relaxation up through upper legs and into your hips. Bring your hips round and into neutral. So to do that, to find your neutral, you can sway all the way back and then bring your hips all the way forward to the pelvic floor. Somewhere in the middle of there is going to be round about neutral for you. I'm going to sweep that relaxation upwards through back, through your waist and into your belly. Sweep that relaxation all the way round, warming, positive, healing energy travels around. Up to your rib cage now. We can extend up and out just a few inches through. Up to your shoulders. We're going to bring your shoulders forwards and up. Bring them back and down. And as you bring them down, bring the shoulder blades together. Slide them down your back. Drawing the chin back. Front of the head to the sky. Tailbone to the ground. Taking a moment to enjoy that sensation of alignment throughout your entire being. Feeling that flow of energy and breath. Bringing your awareness towards your breath now. And each time that we take a deep breath in, becoming aware of that nourishment entering into your body, breathing in deep, take the breath down into belly, expand the belly with breath, expand through the rib cage, lifting collarbones, collarbones gently drop, rib cage returns, the belly returns. See if you can return the belly beyond your neutral. So there's no air left in your body at all. And all there is is room now, creating more room for fresh oxygen as you breathe in deeply through every single part of yourself using the full capacity for breath and with that your body can't help but to cleanse to purify to restore and replenish deep breath in with that breath let's bring one hip out to the side and bend through our knee level through the hip and bring your hands out bring your hips center take the elbows to the back wall out towards the other side through center and slide through center and slide. Relax your shoulders, remember, they might want to creep upwards, closer and closer to your ears. Send them back down. Tell them they don't need to hold on to any excess tension. Allow your body to relax. Give yourself permission to release. Soothing. New motion. New sense. And slide. Through center and slide. Through center. If you want to, you can bring your hands into center to that genie pose. Or in yoga, perhaps. Namaste. Sliding the hips through neutral. And with that movement, we're really releasing through the waist, lengthening all the way through those muscles. Feel that flow of energy as it travels all the way through. Someone requesting to join us. I'm gonna just very gradually slide my way over to let them join us in class. So at the same time as sliding and 
increasing this lengthening through the waist. We're also gently mobilizing through the spine. Mobilizing through the spine itself. As you slide all the way through. And with that slide, you could bring your hands down to frame the hips if you want to. And sliding all the way through there. You could make that movement bigger each time if you like. Sliding through. Try that anchoring technique through your upper half as you keep the upper half steady and center, utilizing the upper abs. Look at the front and the back of shoulders. And in between your shoulder blades, gentle squeeze through those muscles. Try that a little bit faster if you like. Whee! One, two, three, four. This time, we can anchor through the low half. So you're going to engage through the muscles of calves, your thighs, and your pelvic floor. Relax through your back. This time, we're going to slide the ribcage out to the side. Bring it back into center. Slide. Bring it back into center. Slide. Center. Slide. Center. Slide. Center. Slide. Center. Slide. Center, slide, center, slide, center, slide, center, slide, slide all the way through. Nice. If you want, you could channel fluid movement all the way down towards the fingertips. <laughs> oh, that feels nice. Wow. You can bring your hands once more in some genie pose if you like. Relax your shoulders. Keep the shoulder blades low. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Let's try to take that movement, perhaps. Bring the hands into Turkish temple pose. Cross the hands over and bring the back of your palms together. And then, back of your hands together, bring the elbows back. We're going to slide through the head. Now, only if that feels good for you. You can make that movement as big or as small as you like. Nice. Whee! Oh, beautiful. This movement can be traced back to the temple dances of the goddess movement. Thousands of years ago. So we can work with that slide we did. Down and hips. Nice. One. Two. Three, four, anchor through there, up top. Whee! Bring the elbows to the back wall. Relax through. Oh, wow. Thank you. 
That looks absolutely stunning. You can place one hand on heart space, one hand on life force energy space, down in womb space. Feel the connection between the two. Oh, lovely. Now we're going to move into some circles of the hip. So with the circle of the hip, we're going to utilize that slide that we just did. We're going to also bring into there a forward and backwards movement. Okay, so let me just show you. If we just work with the slide, the forwards and back is going to be like so. So we're keeping the back nice and straight all the way through, straight all the way down through the spine. So it's not here. We're going to tuck right under. Use pelvic floor muscles to keep the hips in neutral. So as you come back, forwards. And as you come forwards, you're going to feel a little bit of engagement through upper abs as well. So that's one of the planes of movement that we're using alongside the one that we just did, which was the slide. So we can elevate through our arms, bringing the body into that basic stance. Nice. Set yourself up into there. So we're going to bring the hip out towards the side. Keep that hip line nice and level with the extra bend of the knee. Come all the way around towards the back. Nice. Bring it out towards the side. And all the way around towards the front. Aiwa. To the side. Bring it back. To the side. Bring it forward. <laughs> side. Back. Bring it all the way out to the side. And bring it forward. All right, let's try that a little bit faster, perhaps. Try a little bit more fluid. Try it in flow with where you're at tonight, how you feel today. So, coming into your basic stance, let's enjoy dancing this piece. Let's start with this slide. Aiwa, yeah, hello. To the side, bring it back. To the side, bring it forward. To the side, bring it back. To the side, bring it forward. Nice. Slide, bring it back. Slide, bring it forward. Slide, bring it back. Slide, bring it forward. Slide, bring it back. Slide, bring it forward. Slide, bring it back. Slide. Let's come into slide, a basic slide. Out to the side. Relax your shoulders. You can bring your hands if you want to down to frame your hips. Release your shoulders. Let this be an opportunity to really relax through your shoulders and arms. And maybe release them, maybe release through your neck at the same time. You can bring your gaze gently down towards your toes or down towards your chest. And that can provide that really lovely release at the same time as that fluid movement. You can return your head back to center anytime you like. Let's try the circle. Slide. Bring it back. Slide. Bring it forward. Providing a gorgeous little boost to your digestive system as you circle around each of your organs, receiving a gentle internal massage there. Oh, it's a simple movement, but it's incredibly beneficial. Out to the side, back, side, bring it forward, side, back, side, bring it forward, whee! <laughs> Looking good. Well done. One, two, three, four. Now make that movement as big or small as you like. Look at you. <laughs> Whee! Well done, everyone. 
simple, joyful movement. Here we go. Option one, two, three, four. When you do that a little bit smaller, a little bit faster, sometimes you can feel more of the internal muscles working. So often larger movements, we work the outer superficial muscles, as we refer to them. But also the smaller ones, you work through the intricacies as well. Different styles of belly dance call for larger movements or smaller ones. So if you think about um, a popular style of belly dance being Egyptian style, it utilizes lots of internal muscle movements. Small contractions that are quite subtle, sometimes can't even be seen uh, if you're observing a dance. But definitely they're there and they're strengthening and toning throughout the dancer's entire being. Deep breath here. And as you breathe out, let's bring it back to basics alive. Wow. Up top. <laughs> wow. That was really beautiful. I you know how I like to keep things in balance. Um, we're going to do that same circle, but take it to the other direction now. So we're going to circle the other direction. I'm going to give you the option here if you would like an option. If you've done this movement with me before, you could, if you want to, add a little pop movement to pick up your heels and place them back down on the ground. So just marking out the beat there. I can feel really nice to feel that vibration throughout your whole body. Whee! You can do that double time if you want. Or not, you can keep it lovely and smooth without the bounce. Whee! As soon as we add in any motion where we connect with the ground like this, or any shimmy, anything that works with gravity in that way, we're helping our lymphatic system to drain away any toxins. And as a result of that, you're actually boosting your immune system. And four, three, two, and one. Whoa! Help yourself a little spot of hydration if you would like one now. And then join me back in a moment. We're going to enjoy some shimmy. Okay, so whilst that is loading, let's come into the technique of um, basic shimmy. So let's first of all have a little look at maybe some, let's say some hip drop. So, let's do that on a single leg first. You're going to take one foot slightly in front of the other. As here, you're going to sit down on top of that, tuck your hips under, lift your rib cage, shoulders, chin, crown of the head, tailbone, deep breath in. 
you can frame that with an L-shaped arm if you want to. And then what you're going to do is lift up. You're going to pick up and drop. Pick up and drop. Yes, pick up and drop. Up and drop. Up and drop. Lift up and drop. Lift and drop. Lift. Drop, lift, 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 drop, 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 drop. Let's try the other side. So you're gonna lift upwards and drop down. Lift up and drop. Pick upwards and drop. Lift, drop. Lift and drop. So the hips are in neutral there. They're tucked right under, so it's not here. It's right around here. And then lift and drop. Lift and drop. So you're going to feel that on that supporting leg, mostly on the thigh. And the outside of the dropping leg is going to feel nice and free. So you're going to lift and release. Make sure you've got a really, really big bend through your knees. And it's going to be Okay, so with that hip drop, here we go. Drop. Two, three, four, a bit faster. One. One, two, one, two, one, one, two, three, four, four, three, two. Here we go. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Woo! Other side. Drop. 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 A bit faster. Upper arms, front and back of shoulders, in 
between your shoulder blades. Four, three, two, circle. Reverse. Nice. Reverse. Like. Woo! Up top. And the center. <laughs> and. Right side. Or left as you look at it, whichever way it appears. Or however it feels. Here we go. Woohoo! Well done! <laughs> wow, that was such a spot of hydration. Amazing. to join me for a lovely cool down stretch that would be my pleasure <laughs> so we're going to that was so beautiful amazing wow we are going to bring oh i do that movement there we are going to do this next time so tune in for that come back join me here for that one we're going to bring one foot out in front of the other let me come over here so you can see the foot and then the other side, you're going to bring this foot right back, place your heel down into the ground. Both toes are facing the same way. Extend through that back leg. Square off your hips and bring your hips in neutral using your pelvic floor muscles to do that. Relax through your back. You're going to feel this gorgeous stretch right the way through the front of that extended leg. Down through your thigh, in through your hip flexor, but the whole back of that leg is going to feel gorgeously released all the way down to your calf. Take a deep breath in here, expand the belly, and as you breathe out, we're going to lift through the heel and gently return that into center. On the other side, so you can either turn or remain facing the same way. We're going to step the other foot out. Which side are we just doing? Okay. We're going to step the other foot out in front and press the heel down into the ground. Both feet facing forwards. Square the hips to the corner and bring the hips into neutral. So you can either turn with this one or facing, it, of course, the same direction. The stretch is the same either side. We're going to extend through that back leg with the hips in neutral. You can extend the bend, increase the bend through that front leg if that enables a deeper stretch that you might like to receive. Take a deep breath in here. As we breathe out, we're going to lift that heel, return it back into center. We're going to bring one hand to womb space, one to heart space. Tuning in, connecting there. Let's take the hands wide. Oh! This time, one hand comes all the way around, framing your face, one to your belly. And we're going to come all the way across and open out into this releasing side stretch, if that feels good for you. Try not to collapse into it. Keep it nice and open and elevated. Bring it back through center and all the way across towards the other side. Lengthening all the way through. And on this side here as well, keep that nice and open all the way through. Oh, that feels so good, doesn't it? Bring it back into center. Take your time. Let's bring the hands all the way up in front. Bring them all the way round to the side. Ah, oh, flex through your fingers. Bring the hands forwards. Forming this shape here. <laughs> we <laughs> love you. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me unmute you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much for Thank being you. here. <laughs>
<laughs> that was beautiful, beautiful dancing. Doesn't it feel lovely to be in your yeah. body? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. We spend lots of time. I've got gorgeous oils in my hair. Um, all beautiful frankincense in there as well. It feels amazing. Oh, lovely. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was incredible. Well done, everybody. Thumbs up, Louise. Woo! Thank you. Woo! Oh, dear, that was amazing. Sporting the red, I see. Yeah, you <laughs> <laughs> we'll turn this down for a moment. We got two minutes. Have a little blather. Hi. 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 you're looking so well. You're feeling better. Yeah, my breathing's still a bit <coughs> iffy, but I just do what I can. Sure. I'm feeling a lot better. Yeah. Nice to see you looking yeah. much better. Yeah. It's good to see you looking Boy. better. Can, can you see me? Yeah. Can't see you. No, can't I'm not see. surprised. I can't see me either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. According to what I got here, your um your camera is on, but can't see it. No idea. No idea. Anyway, Are I'm here. Guys. I can see all of you. Yay! Can Yay! All Oh. If you're joining me for the next one, enjoy the break. We're going to be back here in about just over 20 minutes. And uh, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for choosing us. And thank you for choosing you. Oh. Wow. wow. Time's so Isn't precious. You look fabulous tonight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> that was fun. Loving this. Loving this so much. Yeah. And even when, when real life, regular life, normal life, whatever that is, even when that comes back, I reckon this is a thing for us now. Um, yeah. Hopefully, we'll still have in person as well. Your support. Um, but yeah, this is great fun, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to get cut off, so thank you very thank much. You. Thank I'll you. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.